am currently head up the export division for the Australian Department of Agriculture and Water Resources. So I'm responsible for regulating our exports that go out to over 100 countries of major products like meat and dairy. Uh, I also wear the hat of being chair of CC Fix, so uh, which is a real honour to be able to do. I've, I've taken over that role and, and really enjoyed it. It's a very complementary one to Australia, strongly relying on, on international standards and rules-based system, and CC Fix plays such an important role in having all of the countries of the world participating in something that's for good for inspection and certification for trade. I work for Nestle in a global regulatory and scientific affairs team, and I'm also a part of the GFSI Codex Committee. So I'm here to, for this GFSI conference, and this is one of the leading food safety platform. And the, and the collaborative attitude or the collaborative way, the way the GFSI works, manifests nowhere better than in this conference where you have all the stakeholders, manufacturers, suppliers, retailers, academia and, and we can talk on the food safety and discuss about the best practices and knowledge sharing. Absolutely, I think um, in all the meetings that I've gone to and, and also Codex meetings, having engagement from the broader sectors who are influenced and impacted by the standards and guidelines that people develop, it's critical to have that input and so I think for me uh, where we've had industry groups, we've had consumer groups, we've had GFSI uh, representing a body. I think it's all critical because you, you need to make it work. I think my other observation would be in my job is you have rules and laws that you need to follow, but you actually need to be able to implement them sensibly. And that's sort of for me is what CC Fix helps countries do. CCFIX is Codex Committee on Food Import and Export and Certification System. And CCFIX works on a various agendas, just to name a few like recognition of voluntary third party certification system, system equivalence, and they may start a work on food fraud. So this gives all the reason why GFSI has to closely work or monitor the work of the CCFIX. And, and CCFIX, as, as one of the subsidiary body of Codex, their role is to consumer protection and, uh, and facilitate trade, and which very well goes with the vision of, uh, of GFSI of safe food for consumer everywhere, and their mission for, for providing of minimizing the food safety risks by making a convergence on the food safety management systems, they are very well placed to contribute to the CCFIX discussion. CCFIX is really reliant on having safe food and, and fair trade in, in a nutshell. That's, that's really what it's all about. And the work program that we have has really got a couple of important elements at the moment going our voluntary third party assurance, which has obviously been a critical subject that we've talked this week about at GFSI. And I think you've seen a lot of interest from many governments and many private companies who want to make this work better. We've all got scarce resources. We're trying to manage risk. And how can we do that together and focus the risk where we need to? Other important stuff that we've got going on is obviously systems equivalence. Again, you're trying to make sure you don't reinvent the wheel every time. Uh, you need to reassure other countries that you've got the systems in place. So that's a really important part of work. And our new bit of work that I think is really going to be a bit of a game changer is the food fraud and food authenticity and integrity work. And I think that to me is it's at much earlier in the discussion where we're up to, but I think it's got every country's got some skin in the game on that one. And I think there's an electronic working group been set up and I think it'll be interesting to see how quickly we get the, the ball rolling on that work. I think every country uh, wants to see that matter sorted. I think it's an interesting one and everyone struggled what sits in Codex, what sits in CC Fix, what sits outside of that. And obviously there are, for example, criminal elements that are not matters for CC Fix. But I think for us, focusing on setting up some uh, guidance for countries for food fraud and authenticity will be critical. It's a really important piece of work. I think uh, the, the good work that, CC, uh, that GFSI has done with CCFIX is that they are not only participating in the main plenary meeting in the Codex, but they are also contributing in the, in the working groups, which is like electronic and the physical working group meeting. And GFSI, based upon their experience on the voluntary third-party assurance schemes, they're sharing their experiences, learnings, and the guidance. 
and and that is helping to build up a consensus among the members and which will enable or enable the ccfx to achieve a document which will be based upon a consensus and definitely that is what everybody is visioning for Well, we've made it to step five, which I, I think in Brisbane in October last year, and I think people were a bit nervous. It was a high stakes game there at the end, but I think uh, I think we got there. But I think what you saw was a lot of willingness by people to actually, they know it has a real role in the future uh, for trade, uh, but it was actually, what is it that people are willing to, to live with in that? And I think kind of different governments and have different appetites to risk in managing this. But the reality is we've now got to a, a, a really an important point in actually getting to the next important stage to sign off on this work hopefully uh, next year. I think it's, it's a real challenge. It's a very vibrant, you've got so many different countries participating who all have their own pressures and constraints. And you obviously, you want to bring everyone along who can actually use the guidance. For many countries, particularly developing countries, it's critical to actually have that resource to call upon. And um, for us, it's got to work for everyone. And, and so as chair, it's about making sure all the voices are heard. It's a consensus organisation. It's a matter of, yes, there will be differences. There are always going to be differences. But as a sort of former trade negotiator, you actually, as the chair, your job is to actually hear what everyone has to say and see, is there a middle ground that everyone can live with? I think another important thing of CC Fix we tried is the uh, webinars. Yep. So I think that for me is also the future of this. Not everyone can get on a plane. I live in Australia, it takes me 30 hours to get to Nice. You know, there's only so, so many times a year I can do that. Um, and in terms of the rest of my responsibilities, but the cost for countries as well. And so I think having technology facilitate more engagement, I think is the future for CC Fix, but for other committees as well.